All right. So um, somebody asked us to do a video. Uh, we're going to cover a video on essentially where you're shifting and uh, the amount of pressure or weight you have on either leg. Um, this is for some people that had probably already have some knee problems, but also a real definition. We talk about this all the time, but I've noticed that a lot of times when they talk about shifting to the front leg, you know, right now I'm 50-50, but shifting balance to that front leg, people want to go right over the leg. The only problem with going over directly over the leg is the knee goes outside that foot and you get some imbalance and, and structural problems in that scenario. So the idea is that it's not about just shifting your body mass over something. It's about essentially putting your, using your center, make sure that you're shifting your center here. So if you watch this shift in here, and we're gonna show some other video here of where your hips really should be to get center or your neutral position in your hips. This shift, I am actually shifting forward still into my opponent. Instead of shifting on an angle here, I shift straight. I'm moving from here to into my opponent. Not straight, because if I lean here, I start losing balance, right? But I shift right here. My balance is right on the inside of my foot. So my knee ends up over my foot. So if I shift right into my foot, my knee is outside my foot, and you can see this. And then I have to turn my foot to try to get it right, and then I lose distance. In this position, my knee's almost going straight where my foot is already, which essentially my hip is still inside. That, that center point is inside my legs, near my near where the weight is. So it allows you to really stretch out there. I even tell people sometimes you, you should be able to essentially do this, 100% almost. So and then the same thing, you start getting into the back and then you can lift. Again, this, this weight is here, it's inside the foot. If I shift into an angle over that foot, you can do that, but then again, you start losing your balance. So, so be careful, this is a real tight detail, and um, I, I'm doing this because there's people who already have some knee issues and, and shifting into weight on something is already difficult. This, this shift may be very small. This may be all you can do on your front foot. This may be all you can do on your back foot. The trick though is a lot of times it's stability that you worry about. So you want to make sure that you're, you're finding that really, really nice place for stability. If I'm right over, now I'm turning, I'm losing stability. If I'm inside here, my foot and knee are over each other. I have all this stability I want because they're on top of each other. Also, you'll start learning that how much weight you can put on it and start building it. If you, it's like, okay, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, that's all I can do. Okay, I'm gonna shift back forward. Okay, I'm gonna do it here. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, all right. You keep building those numbers and you keep building strength in your legs. A lot of people start out with weak legs to start because they're Maybe, especially thinner people, to tell you the truth, have very weak legs a lot of times because they're not carrying the same weight heavier people carry. Heavier people have very strong legs. If you're super heavy, you have super, super strong legs because you carry all of that. But, so just beware, you know, legs are that, that power and energy comes from the ground through those legs. So the big, good, powerful legs is really key to, to a lot of power coming into blows and movement and burst and everything else um, so building that building what you can do and strengthening things in your legs is fundamental to, to movement to burst to power and you want to make sure that we're not turning out you can see that knee it turns here if I'm going straight over if I shift my center here's my center if I shift it outside my foot, now I'm outside my foot, my, my knee is outside my foot. So I have really poor balance and, and instability here. My knee is actually bent the wrong way. But if I shift right here, my knee's traveling the same again. So be really careful in this space and practice this. And you can practice this, you can get lower, okay? And you can just practice back and forth you find a place like right here this is very hard I have people will do a whole practice a half a day of practice on movement and by the time they're done their legs are done 
uh, and they're not really thrilled about going on because we're staying really low. I mean, you, you can you can get people really down here. Here I am, I'm down here, right? This is a really <laughs> rough place, right? Balance. You got it, balance, right? So there you go, right on the inside of your foot. You got head up, hips under you more. Yeah. Tilt the hips in. There you go. Right up. Okay. And back. Good. All the way back. There we go. Very nice. All right. And back forward again. As you go forward, take this because your hips are going to go forward. Pull your chest back. There you go. Pull that chin up. There we go. Good. And now. Just so, and I just did it. You can't see it in my shoes, but I was losing my balance there, and I engaged my toes. <laughs> and what I literally did is, you, your toes catch you, just like you're running, and they hold you, right? Are you engaging your toes? <laughs> That's the only thing yeah, exactly. And then back here, you don't get the chance to engage those toes that much. But now we're just sitting, just sitting into this place. Here we are, right? And then we go back forward, engage. Engage your toes as you're up, head up. up. Yeah, keep that head up. Chip. Remember, pull that hip right underneath you. There you go. You're almost wanting to try to lean backwards a little. And this is where you can, again, lift your foot. All right? All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about hips in this next piece. But I'm hoping this exercise, again, really detailed, really small, but very important. Just do it to the place where you feel like you're not hurting yourself, but you're pushing yourself. And then see if you can push yourself a little farther past without getting into a dangerous place. I think many times, and, and doctors talk about this all the time, you know, it's all about making sure you have the muscles and things that, that help your knees be structurally sound. And if you're gonna do things like this, we have to build those, they're really fine control stuff. And the more you build your fine control, the less you have to worry about that knee. So um, I hope this helps you. Uh, and and we'll, uh, we're going to go next video. We're going to talk a little bit about where we're talking about tucking our hips. So thank you.